I had covered Afghanistan for CNN, and I just happened to be there when things started to blow up in a distant province. So I ended up spending most of my time standing in front of a microphone and not reporting. And I felt that is not the way to cover anything. You need to be out in the field, you need to be talking to people, you need to be having dinner with people and sleeping in their tents and, and, and doing all of those things that are the story. Being a child of the Vietnam War, I mean, I was a child as the war was ending, but it would be on the news and I would see all these very important things about Vietnam. Journalism seemed very important and pictures also seemed really important. People believed pictures back then. Not just pictures were worth a thousand words, but people would look at a picture and think, well, that actually happened. It's a little bit different these days, but it felt important and it felt like a necessary and honorable profession. I realized that being able to contextualize my own visual work was really important. And I wrote, I was always a writer, but I started writing a lot more. So for me, that, that confluence of still image or even moving image and word, text, sort of essential. I generally take risks when I'm in sort of civil situations. Like I don't like to shoot the camera angle that everybody else is shooting. So in that sense, I will sort of challenge authority. But when you're deployed with troops, any deviation that you make can get someone killed. Not just the US troops, but an Iraqi civilian. So I, I in that sense, I tried to not do anything that was out of line with what the troops were doing. And you have to determine, okay, is this shot worth it? I made a decision at a certain point to focus more on construction than destruction because I think that I think I did a good job. I'm, I'm proud of the film I made. I'm proud of my images. But this experience has been sort of personally damaging and I think that I can do more help by photographing at an immigrant services center in Staten Island and showing people what regular everyday New Yorkers are trying to do to improve the lives of other regular everyday New Yorkers. But I'm trying to make a record of those things because it does matter. Even if it only matters to the people in that community, that's important.